We're set for a start. Flag goes up from behind. Gates crash back and away in racing from the 1400 meter mark. Pentalina broke out well, shows some good early pace with Coral Blaze and Green Light Sky. They're all in contention for that early lead. Deep route on the track. We've got one giant leap who now settles back a length and a half in running. It's Quizzit's holding her position on the rail and is slowly starting to improve to try and sit a little bit closer to the speed. Ndebe Mayabuya is now settled back two lengths in running in that fourth placing, followed by Eureka Diamond. Pentalina, white sleeves, yellow cap in that one out placing, racing five lengths off the leader. She's being tracked by one giant leap. Then comes Cherry Sky, followed by the lights of Breakfast Run. A breakaway of three lengths in running to Green Light all the way, who's racing easily a dozen lengths off the leader they drove past the final 700 metres. Further back in the field, we've got O Mandy, who's racing last of all, as Coral Blaze has now picked up the running ahead of its quizzet. And Debe Mayabuya settles back in third, racing five lengths off the leader. Then comes Green Light Sky, followed by Eureka Diamond. They're racing seven lengths off the leader. Pentalina has a lot of work to do from there. Got about eight lengths to make up. As they're into the final 350 metres, it's Coral Blaze and its quizzet. These two are out in front. Then comes in Debe Mayabuya towards the inside. Eureka Diamond with Cherry Sky. Pentalina still has five lengths to make up with Coral Blaze who's still in front with 200 metres left to go. Coral Blaze in front by a length over its quizzet. Down towards the inside, Eureka Diamond absolutely flying home. Pentalina a little bit unlucky, but Eureka Diamond a quick turn of foot and into the winner's box. Eureka Diamond will win from Pentalima. Then came Coral Blaze in third. Just in behind that, Ndebe Mayabuya followed by its quizzet. Eureka Diamond, Anthony Andrews for Justin Snaith. Stable quickened up best of all down towards the inside rail and showed a really smart turn of foot. Showed good improvements at every single start to date and will win easing up at the line. Number seven, Eureka Diamond, the winner by just over two lengths. Number three, Pentalina, once again, hard luck story can be made for her. She'll round up in that second placing, followed by number four, Coral Blaze. Just in behind that was number two, Indebe Mayabuya. Then came number one, Exquisite. Cherry Star was further back in the field and the rest of the field were pretty much well beaten into the closing stages. Number seven, Eureka Diamond, right along the inside rail, the blue sleeves and cap. You can see on the outside, Coral Blaze and Exquisite, they picked up the advantage into the final 200 meters, but down towards the inside, Eureka Diamond made up the ground, quickened up really smartly. You can just see the gap close on Pentalina. You just had to check for a stride or two. And another hard luck story for Herbert Tate. Nothing away from number seven, Eureka Diamond. Owned by a host of owners here, Bobby Norton involved, as well as Mr. and Mrs. Nadrindrin. And bred out by the Wilkerbos Drift and Richardson Stud Farm. Number seven, Eureka Diamond, the winner for race number three.